Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tanner from TanManBaseballFan.com with another mail day here. Um, this is the third video I think I've done as far as uh, mail days go. I've got three of these packages uh, to take a look at. This one I actually thought was junk mail and I <laughs> opened it and I thought was, there's was going to be nothing in it, but I was like, well, it feels a little stiffer so I might as well check. Um, so I did kind of cheat. I didn't look at this uh, or I did look at this before I started recording. but. Anyways, I'm kind of excited because this is my uh, new HD camera. Um, I would show you what it looks like, but I'm actually recording with it, so I can't. Um, so, actually, I can show you what I was using before. I was using this. I don't even know what decade it's from, but it was a really crummy uh, quality, so I'm pretty pumped about this. So far on my screen, anyhow, it looks good. So let's go ahead and dive in right away. So we, we're going to start off with this. It's just a it's a low end tops bunt card. I think they did um, uh, several variations of it. Their serial number differently. This is just the base card. I'd like to pick up the other versions. And it's kind of funny um, because I had actually done a, a physical bunt version. If y'all aren't familiar with bunt, it's a uh, they're digital cards and the digital versions actually sell online for money and that's all it is is their digital cards they uh, you can view them on your iPhone or Android or whatever so I don't know I'm not really sure I'm feeling that but uh, but for the physical card I absolutely wanted to get it for my collection I'd love to pick up the other ones also so we got got a freebie uh, pad envelope there so we'll reuse that later let's see if I have my little slicer guy here okay here we go I don't remember what card this is so by the way, let's uh, let's critique everybody's packing jobs while we're at it here, huh? So this comes in a beautifully uh, folded Tide Pods kind of cardboard thing. So interesting. <laughs> All right, we're gonna this and one more side, I guess. Drum roll. Oh, okay, man, they tape this to heck. I'm not really. You know, I, I'm not going to harp too much on, on this kind of thing here, but uh, because you all know how much I love it when they tape uh, tape the holders and stuff. I'm probably not going to worry about this on screen here because it's probably going to take me about 15 minutes to get all this dang tape off and uh, uh, open it and actually check the condition of the card. But anyways, it is a beautiful card. It's uh, number to 50. Um, it's 2003 or 2005. Let me see. Uh, looks like 2003 Leaf Limited. I believe it's called Lineups. Um, it's got Ricky Henderson and then Jose Canseco, of course, and then the two bat pieces. So very slick card. I have the Reggie Jackson version of it, and I love it. So anyways, last but not least, I recognize... The name on this, so I know what this is, but I'll go ahead and uh, cut through it and I will show you what is in here. This actually comes from another Jose Canseco Super Collector, and here it is. So, this is a 2000 Tops Gold Jose Canseco. They uh, they made a basically there's 20 different versions of this in the set and for every single version they made a gold and all of them are numbered to 10 and this one is pattern number one and if I remember correctly uh, my friend that uh, pulled this or that had this in his collection he ended up having to trade a King Griffey Jr. Uh, game jersey for for it so really excited about this and, and the reason why we did a trade is he was very very gracious in, in doing this deal with me because 
I had recently picked up a large number of Topps Tech Golds um, in one shot from uh, one of Kinseiko's closest friends, and um, he said that he just you know decided to part with him, and I was really excited about that because these cards never, ever, ever seem to come up for Jose. So um, I checked on Worth Point, and there were um, probably, oh gosh, I don't know, 12 or 13 of them that have showed up in the past 10 years. But the 12 and 13 were basically by the same uh, seller, and Kinseiko's friend was the one that picked all of them up. Um, so other than that, none of them have really surfaced. So I'm pretty pumped about this. Um, the problem was, was whenever I got them, one of them was a double. So I was kind of really bummed that I had gotten a double of these. Um, so I went to one of my collecting friends uh, who had a number of these as well, and I begged and pleaded with him played with him to uh, trade my double for one that he uh, had. Um, and plus I gave him another extra card as well uh, to hopefully make it worth his while. But anyway, so he was kind enough to do the trade. And so thank you very much, Jamie. I really appreciate that. Um, and this makes me one step closer to the collection, to the entire run. I've got 15 of the 20. So um, if y'all know of anybody or you have any of these 2000 Tops Tech Gold Kinseikos, um, please let me know. Uh, I've got my entire collection, of course, up at kinseikocollector.com. Um, but if you don't want to check that, just shoot me an email, tanmanbaseballfan at gmail.com. I would be happy to take a look at any list you might have. Um, so once again, here are the three cards for the day. And I'd say it's a pretty darn good mail day there. Um, my favorite, obviously, is going to be this uh, Topps Tech Gold. And uh, thank you again for watching, and stay tuned. I'll have some more uh, videos up later.